If you are one of the more than 1.6 billion people in this world that use a Windows PC, there's two things I can absolutely guarantee you. One, your computer is going to die. Two, at some point, that Windows computer that has all your personal files on it is going to become unbootable. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. If you don't have the tools to repair your computer, even if you don't know what you're doing, it's highly likely that that computer is going to end up in a graveyard somewhere. Now I have made a lot of Windows troubleshooting videos and the one comment I seem to get over and over again is about how the Windows built-in troubleshooting menus either don't have the options you need or they just simply don't work. Most people don't pay any attention to their computers as long as they're working, but I guarantee you all it takes is one bad Windows update and next thing you know, you're looking at a blue screen or worse. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you about the two flash drives that every single Windows user needs, regardless of whether their computer is working or not. But if you don't have these drives before your computer crashes, you're likely looking at an expensive repair bill, or at worst, losing all your files if you can't figure out how to get back into Windows. So with these two easy to make flash drives, you're going to not only have the ability to get access to your files, but you'll also have the ability to repair Windows or possibly even refresh or reinstall Windows and know for sure that you are not going to lose anything. It's super easy to do, so just follow my instructions step by step and I guarantee you, you'll be able to get back into your computer no matter what happens. And trust me when I say, after working 30 years in computer repair, you're going to want these flash drives before the problem starts, not after. In this first part, I'm going to show you how to download the media that you need, but stay tuned until the end so I can show you how to use it. Here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a working computer, either yours or a friend's, and you're going to need two USB flash drives. Eight gigabytes should be fine. If you don't have flash drives, I'll put a link down in the description below. You can click on it and order them and have them to you tomorrow, or you can just go down to your local retail store and pick them up today. Now the first disk we need to make is a Windows installer disk. So with this disk, you'll be able to do all kinds of things, including check your hard drives, check your Windows file system, remove updates, run system restore, do all kinds of things that you might need in order to get back into Windows. But you have to have the disk first before you can get started. So open up Google and in the Google search box, type in Windows Media Creation Tool. The first link that comes up should be a Microsoft link and just click on that and that will take you to the Microsoft Media Creation Tool page. Scroll down till you get to the part where it says create Windows 10 installation media and click download now. Go ahead and choose a location to save the file and go ahead and click OK and download it. Once the file is downloaded, just go ahead and open it from your downloads location and the media tool creation kit will begin to run. It's going to go ahead and start by getting a few things ready. Uh, this sometimes takes a few minutes, so just be patient. At this point, you're going to get prompted to accept the terms and licensing. Just go ahead and accept. And at this point, I would go ahead and plug in your empty flash drive and it should pop up on your screen like this. What you want to make note of is the actual drive letter for that flash drive. In this case, it's drive J that will become important here shortly. So after you accept the license terms, a few minutes later, you're going to get a prompt to either upgrade or update the PC or create a bootable installation media. That's the option you want to choose is create an installation media. Next menu that comes up is your language and version number. Most of the time it's okay just to leave this checkbox checked and click next. Now the next screen that comes up says which media do you want to use? Now this is where you want to choose USB flash drive and click next. Now if you remember before where I told you to pay attention to the drive letter that your flash drive uses, this is where you're going to select that flash drive. Once you've selected the correct drive letter, click next and then it will begin the process of creating the media disk. After about 10 to 15 minutes, it will tell you your flash drive is ready and then you can just go ahead and click finish. And if you want to test it, just plug it right back into your computer and it should pop up an Explorer screen with files in it. Now at this point, you finish creating the Windows installation media. So you can now remove it from your computer and put it in a safe place. The next thing we want to do is download and create the Hiren's boot disk. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Same as before, open Google and this time type in download Hiren's boot USB and then click on the link that pops up. The first link in Google that pops up should take you to hirensbootcd.org and this is the one you want to click on. This is the page you want to be on. Scroll down just a little bit until you see ISO to USB link and you want to click on that and download it to your computer. 
Now at this point, I would recommend plugging in the second USB drive and make sure it pops up on the screen and note the drive letter. This will again be important. So we've downloaded the tool to create the media, but now we actually have to download the ISO. So up at the top, click on download. And then what you're going to want to do is scroll all the way down the page until you see the actual file and click on it. Same as before, start the download and make sure you pay attention to where you've downloaded the file. Now once the ISO is finished, go ahead and open the ISO to USB that you downloaded first and it should automatically detect that ISO file and load everything into those settings. The only thing you need to do is make sure you choose the correct drive letter, which is what you checked when you first plugged that flash drive in. Go ahead and click process and let the installation begin. Now when it's done at the bottom you'll see ISO content successfully copied to whatever drive letter you chose and you can successfully go ahead and close that window and you are done. Now what you have in your hand right here are two of the most powerful weapons in existence for any computer repair issue. These things are invaluable tools for anybody who wants to fix a Windows computer. But now that we've got them made, let me take a second and show you what they can do. Now in order to use these disks you're going to have to restart your computer and tell it to boot specifically to this flash drive. Now. Depending on your model of machine, uh, for Dell's it's F12, for HP's it's Hit Escape, and I think F9. Each manufacturer is a little different, so you need to first look and see how you initiate the bootloading process. But once you get to that menu, then you just select the flash drive from that menu, and then it will boot to your specific disk. So when you boot to the Windows 10 installation disk that you created, you can see it gives you all kinds of different options, including startup repair, system restore, uh, command prompt so you can check your disks. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. And this is just a really fantastic tool to have in your arsenal. Now the Hiram's Boot CD is amazing. It has so many unbelievable utilities that you can use. It's, uh, it's really a Swiss Army knife for any computer repair. One of the best features about this program and arguably the one thing that you absolutely need it for is to be able to access your files when Windows won't boot. This program will let you do it. If you need to boot to a command prompt to scan your disks, it's got you covered. There is a utilities folder that loads on the desktop that literally has all kinds of tools that you could ever need. Everything from hard drive tools to antivirus to cloning utilities pretty much anything you would need to either scan or repair your computer you can find it inside of here even editing your bootloader file in case windows for some reason has a problem with a corrupt bootloader you can edit that directly from this program inside this boot cd problem with the damage partition you can go into hard drive tools and partition tools and open up numerous programs that will let you manipulate your existing partitions and make whatever changes necessary Suspect you have a failing hard drive? There's hard drive utilities in here that will go in there and actually check your drive to make sure that it's physically in good shape. I could literally go on and on and on about Hiram's Boot CD. I've used it for so many years and it is such a valuable tool. You absolutely need to get that as part of your toolkit. That, with the Windows installation media, you will be covered for just about any issue you could possibly have. These disks are great to have in an emergency situation where your computer doesn't boot, but what if you have a computer that is booting, but is just not running right? Did you know there's a program that will clean just about any bug off of any PC? You should check it out right here.